Hi, it's Sandy Parker, and welcome to Crafting for Almost Everyone. Today we're going to talk about my favorite scissors and why I love them. I hope you'll stay tuned. So I made a video several years ago where I talked about my favorite scissors and why I like them, but they've changed over the years. Well, some of them have, and I thought we would go over them and we'd talk about it. That's my puppy barking. If you didn't hear that, she'll probably be barking again because she really likes to bark. I want to talk about this pair first because these are made from tonic and I bought mine on eBay and I bought a set of I think three or four of these for like 14 or 15 dollars and no uh, cost for shipping and it was a bargain so I wanted to try them out. I'd seen Sam Calcott use these and I thought why not give them a whirl. So I got them and I didn't have really high expectations for them because you know when you when you only pay a couple dollars for something you don't you don't necessarily believe they're going to do a great job but these i'm trying to get my light better these are really nice scissors um the thing that i like about them is this little we'll call it grip you i can put my little finger there and then when i cut it gives me a little bit of stability to have a nice clean edge well for me and I really like them because of that. And they cut really nice and they do a great job of fussy cutting, but I still like these. Okay, I'm gonna give you the links below. Obviously, that's important because these are kind of tricky to find. These are Stampin' Up! Snips and I've always loved these. These are my favorite to fussy cut with. And the reason, I'll show you, hopefully you can see just how thin this blade is. And when you have a really thin blade like that, I think it makes it so much easier to fussy cut with. Oh, hold on, I'll just get those right side by side. Can you see that this one is much thicker than this one? When you're trying to go around um, little intricate designs, I really like the ability to do that and not have any issues with, with cutting. Obviously, I'm not the world's greatest at fussy cutting, but it does do a nice job. And these, I've used this same pair since I started my channel, and I think it's almost seven years. Maybe that's a lie. But anyway, um, I really like these. These are a lot more expensive than these. I think these are $10. I might be wrong, but they're worth it. There is a set of yellow um, ones made by I think EK Success and I think they're called Cutter Bees. I might be wrong about that but somebody told me they're the exact same scissors they just have a different look to their handle so they're a lot less expensive and you can buy those in any craft store and I'll give you a link below for those as well then my well I guess I'll do these ones next I just bought these because Sam Calcott dis discussed those and talked about how she really liked these for long cuts and I they really show every kind of uh, fingerprint. They're made by the company Hay, H-A-Y, and they're called Phi Scissors, P-H-I. The reason that you get this kind of scissor is because it has a really long blade and it has a, a nice long cut length. And I'm gonna tell you just how long the blade is in case you are wondering. It's about three and an eighth long, the blade. And I'll show you how I cut with them. I put the this part of the scissor handle on my surface. You see, hear that? It's on the surface. I just leave it there. Then I open them as wide as I can get. And then I just make one long continuous cut. And when you do that, you don't get any starts and stops. You don't get any like notches or any kind of wavers in your pattern. And I think this is probably around three in inches long. Yep. It's three inches long that I make a cut on, and that's pretty impressive for me. And I do have those um, <clears throat> Fiskars Easy Action Scissors, but to be honest with you, over the years, I've had issues with them um, not working well for me, so I'm not going to talk about them this time. I am going to talk about, though, the other scissors that I like. Well, let me tell you the blade lengths on these others so you know what they are. On the... Did I say these are from Tonic? I'm pretty sure they're from Tonic. I almost gave you in centimeters. Centimeters. This one is, it's about an inch and three eighths. And then the Stampin' Up! Snips are 
one and I would say seven eighths. No, I'll say one and three quarters. And then these are the exact same scissor. They're just different colored handles. I'm, I'm showing you these because these I've had a really long time and these are newer. And I wanted to make sure you saw that I'm still using these older ones. This blade is about an inch and a quarter. And these are the same kind of scissors are made by Tim Holtz from Tonic. And they are about two inches long. Okay, let me talk about the reason I had these red handled ones. Well, I started with these and the long bladed ones. If you have any problems with your hands, I don't recommend the, the long bladed tonic Tim Holtz scissors because you're using them for specific things. And in my case, what I'm using them for is to either cut red rubber stamps or to cut a thick piece of cardboard or something that's not just a thin piece of paper. Sometimes I use it to cut string, things like that, that are really um, harder to cut. And the long bladed ones, I just have not had good success with. I think I kind of sprung the, you know, I did. I don't have it. It's not got a straight edge anymore. It's kind of got a little waffle in it. So the long bladed ones don't work for me anymore. I love these scissors because they work really, really well for the things I just mentioned. You don't want to use them for fussy cutting because they have a serrated edge. It's a very thin serrated edge, but it is one. Hold on. Maybe you can hear it. Can you hear that when I cut it? You can almost hear the serration when it cuts. And it leaves a very, very teeny tiny ridge. If you put your finger on it, you can feel that it's got that little edge. Let me see if I put paper up behind it, if you can see that on video. Can you see this piece right here, how it's got a teeny tiny serration? That's what makes it so it will be able to cut red rubber or a thicker uh, thicker thicker substances. The reason I like these ones is because it, I feel like I can get more leverage because these handles are so big. When I first got the little ones, I was really scared that they would not, that I wouldn't be able to use them because these little handholds are so small. But what I found in the end is that these work so much better for me because they are so much smaller. And I really, really like that. And um, you can get these at any of the craft stores and they are relatively inexpensive with a coupon. With Without a coupon, I don't know, maybe $15. With a coupon, 7 or $8. Same with these. I think these are called the 5 inch and these are called the 7 inch, but let me measure them so you know. Yeah, this one is 7 inches long and this one is 5. So when if you're looking, these ones are the 5 inch, these little short ones, and these are the 7 inch ones. They all come with these covers for the blades. And of course, I immediately lose mine. I was I just found this one recently and I thought, I'm gonna put that on there so I can tell people that I actually have one of those. And in the and basically when I use my scissors, as I said, I have a specific use for each type of scissor and I wanna make sure that I have the scissors I like. Now, in the end, do you need three of these? No, you don't. You only really need one pair of these and you might not want both of these. If I was going to choose, I would still stick with the Stampin' Up! ones because I really believe those are um, a durable, good scissor for fussy cutting. Or the Cutter Bees, if you, you know, if you like the EK Success ones, they're supposedly the same scissor. I'll just keep saying that. And then I haven't used these ones long enough, the Tonic ones, to know how, um, how well they last. But for the price, I mean, that's a, a really great price point. You and your friends could go together, and I think four of them on eBay, you get four pairs for $15 maybe. You know, you could go together with a, with a friend and have $7 invested in two pairs of scissors. The um, These Phi scissors by Hay, these are more expensive. I think these were like $20, $25 maybe. But um, they're supposed to be really, really durable and... Sam Calcott really loves them and I believe anything she tells me. And so I hope that this gave you some ideas about scissors and which scissors you might want to get and um, try. If I was just starting out, I would start out with these two pair right here because I really believe these two scissors will do just about everything you need to do. If you are into 
uh, projects. I'm doing those 3D projects that will need longer cut. Like sometimes I'm doing the purse bags and sometimes I need to do a longer cut on those. So I want to make sure that I have something I can make a clean continuous cut with. And then these I just wanted to try because I thought uh, why not for the price give it a try and see if they're um, a great scissor and I think they are but again I know these are going to be there for me tried true. So I hope that this gave you some ideas about which scissors you might want to get and why and that you'll give this a thumbs up and subscribe and please tell your friends about me on social media because you know I love that and thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.